What's up, everyone? It's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to the channel. I am very stoked to introduce to you my guest for today. He is a former six-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and TNA Wrestling's very own, the Time Splitter, Kushida. Hey, Kushida, nice to have you on. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Kushida. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You nice. know, I've been a fan of yours for uh, quite some time now. So uh, I know I mentioned this off the air, but I was very excited when I saw your name on the list of possible people to interview. And I was like, yes, I need to go with Kushida. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, of course. So let's get right into it. You know, you've made several appearances with uh, TNA Wrestling. And just in the last month, it was announced that you have officially signed with the promotion. What mm -hmm. was it about uh, TNA that made you want to sign with them? Mm. Yeah, I, I don't, I didn't know Impact Wrestling would became TNA until Scott announced it in October. Even before that, I was looking for a second home outside of Japan. I spent 2023 working with uh, various promotions. But I said to Scott, I wanted to focus, focus on Impact Wrestling in 2024 in America. I think the title that uh, TNA hold is the perfect one to upgrade in my career. The agreement was signed with the agreement of the top bosses of both companies that the relationship with New Japan and uh, would continue as is. Were you surprised that that was able to happen? I know that TNA and, uh, you know, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling have had a working relationship now, mm -hmm. but were you surprised that you were able to get, like, you know, dual contracts? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, both. Yeah. Uh, New Japan bosses, Mr. Sugabayashi is very happy to welcome I love that. I love that. Okay, so what has your experience been like so far uh, with TNA? Mm, yeah, I can only say that I'm lucky that I I have been able to compete for 18 years without any major injuries. Anyway, I have a uh, yeah, good rival and uh, a uh, title to aim for. More opponents, I have been blessed with all of these conditions. I love that because you mentioned 18 yeah. years without injury. That is like, honestly, that's a blessing. That is a blessing. Do you, what do you attribute that to? Mm, what does it mean? What do you attribute not having any injuries for 18 years to? Mm, just, I say, lucky. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. Just luck. <laughs> yeah. It's that simple. Like it. It's that simple. Yeah. Um, so TNA announced that Akata would be returning uh, to the promotion. And he had last been there, like, God, like over a decade ago. For you to see that Okada was going to get this opportunity to also come into uh, TNA wrestling, what'd you think of that? No, um, it's, I, I thought it was very exciting news for TNA. Very good. Yeah, and it's very good, too, because I feel like having him return to TNA was also sort of like the the thing that I think solidified the relationship between TNA mm -hmm. Wrestling and New yeah. Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah, so I, I think, think so. yeah. Right, right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to rewind a little bit. In 2022, you returned to New Japan Pro Wrestling, and then you obviously started with uh, TNA Wrestling, then yep. Impact Wrestling at the time. For you, how anxious were you to get back to a more consistent wrestling schedule? Mm, yeah, schedule is always uh, tough. But uh, the match style of WWE NXT was also quite hard. So I, I didn't have any concerns. So the second that you kind of came back and you started wrestling a lot more and have bigger matches and get being able to perform in different parts of the world, for you, what was it like to kind of get back that experience? 
Mm, yes. So it's it's a great great night to be able to do good work while traveling, wrestling, and overcoming language barriers. It gives color to my life. I love pro wrestling. Yes. You know, I do want to talk about that because you mentioned the language barriers, and it is something that I have talked to other talents about. Uh, whether it's Spanish speaking talent, Japanese speaking mm -hmm. talent. And a lot of them tell me just like ways that they have learned English. Like I spoke to Hikaru Shida and she told me that she learned by watching Harry Potter. And it's been all of these different stories that I've heard from people. For you, Kashida, what's been like the thing that you feel has really helped you uh, with your English? Uh, yeah, my English is still shit. No, so. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> no, think no. so. Uh, many Japanese people are studying over 10 years, but uh, still it's hard to speak, to understand. I, still, first of all, well, hard. I don't think your, your English is shit, by the way. I definitely do not think that. And by the way, you got it all down first. The first thing you need to learn is the curse words. You've got it down. That's the thing to do. But I get it, man. It's it's so freaking hard. Uh, and I, and I want to applaud you because I believe that anybody that even dare tries to learn a second language, it, mm -hmm. it's a big deal and because it, it's such a big, big challenge. Um, so I do kind of also want to continue with what we were talking about again before New Japan, uh, before making your return to New Japan, before um, getting back to TNA wrestling. Were, did you have any concerns about getting back out there? No, I uh, no, uh, no worried. Why was that? About yeah, it's uh, New Japan and. Impact wrestling is very similar. Yeah, I know already about that. I love that. I really, really yeah. do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into Hard to Kill. So on January 13th in Las Vegas, we're going to be seeing a, a three-way match for the TNA X Division Championship. We just saw the new belt. It looks great. Uh, Chris Sabin defending against yourself and Elijo Del Vikingo. I have uh, two questions for you in regards to this. Um, the first one is, how excited are you for this matchup? Mm -hmm. And your thoughts on being in the ring with Vikingo? Yes. Last night, I saw the new TNA X Division Championship belt. So it looks so cool. I know that Vikingo is a new generation of wrestlers and... Uh, a top runner of new era luchadores. Uh, I think it's uh, amazing that he can move so much and no mistake do high quality work for a long time without getting injured. Uh, uh, winning the X Division title is a variable to me as it mean I can continue to compete in different countries in different organizations. I was very excited when I saw that this matchup was being made uh, and getting to see you guys in the ring together, something that I'm really looking forward to. Of course, Chris Saban as well. I think that's really awesome. What would it mean to you to win the X Division title? Mm, it, it's mean... Uh, I am uh, best best in the world pound for pound, like that. Yes, definitely. It means you're like the very best, especially uh, in that specific mm -hmm. division. It's very, very cool. And such a prestigious title, too, because so many people that have been so great have gotten the opportunity to uh, you know, hold that championship. So I think having your name on that list is definitely mm -hmm. the way to go. Um, yeah. What are your goals for this year? Any dream opponents, anybody that you're looking uh, forward to working with? Mm, yes, my dream opponent is so many I have. For example, Josh Alexander against and Alex Sherry and 
I want to wrestle someday, maybe this year, Moose. And uh, I want to try in this year, intergender match. Oh, why is it that, that that's something you want to do? Very interesting, yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, hey. anybody, yeah. Oh, I like that. You know, I didn't expect that, to be honest, from you. Like, I'm very excited to hear that because I'm like, okay, what are the possibilities that, uh, you know, the different matchup possibilities that we can get? Mm, what What is question? Uh, it's more so just like the possibilities of you like having like an intergender wrestling match. I think that's really cool. And I didn't expect that for you to say that. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. No, yes, me too. I'm so excited. Yes. And then also you and Josh Alexander, I feel like, first of all, like Josh Alexander is doing some of the best work. So to even get to see you guys in the ring together to do a matchup like that, I think would be really cool as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I think so too. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Kashida, um, we have one more portion of this interview okay. that I'm really excited about. I'm going to ask you 10 random questions and okay. you answer them however you please. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the first question that we have here is you um, you were recently in Mexico and Costa Rica. What were your favorite dishes there? Uh, yes, of course, tacos, tortilla, uh, corn, and... Especially, do you know alambre? Yes, and, uh, yes. Yes, and beer, cerveza. Yes. Yeah, I love coffee. So I bought a lot of coffee beans from Costa Rica back to Japan. <laughs> I yes. love that. I know that they're famous for their coffee, and they have like coffee farm, like plantations too. I think they they have oh, like the tours cool. and everything. Yes. Very cool. A lot of animals in Costa Rica. Ah, uh, animal? I I seen, I never seen. <laughs> All right. Um, question number two: What is your favorite Hiroshi Tanahashi story? Hiroshi, oh, president, big yes. president, my boss. Yes, he's <laughs> yeah. His catchphrase is uh, "I am never tired," but he is always sleeping next to me on the New Japan Pro Wrestling bus. And that was right after the bus left. Later, when we went to a sushi restaurant together, he ate so much, so much, that the plate of sushi was piled up. No, and he ate all of it. Jeez so many eating <laughs> that's great i love that yes. um, <laughs> and now we know he's always tired <laughs> but please don't say anywhere i will i will i will <laughs> keep it to myself <laughs> question number three who do you think is the toughest trainer in pro wrestling um yes my first trainer is kazushi sakuraba second teacher is tajiri ww form Former, former superstar Tajiri. So, but uh, most tough trainer is, I think, I pick Kazu Hayashi. Kazu Hayashi is a former All Japan Pro Wrestling wrestler and uh, top of uh, junior heavyweight divisions coach. He, his, his training is crazy. Oh, man, I can't imagine. I mean, I've heard stories of what it's like to train, uh, for example, the New Japan Dojo. So I, I, mm -hmm. I can't even imagine what it would be like to, to be under, like, some of the toughest trainers in <laughs> pro wrestling. Japanese style, yes. Japanese yes. style training. Yes, it's so hard. Question number four. What is your favorite Back to the Future scene? Oh, yes. My favorite scene is when George McCurry climbed up and uh, looks at the his future wife and parents uh, people that children looks up to but in reality they are people who think the same stupid things <laughs> this is a truth <laughs> of life my daughter loves the scene where beef gets covered in poo poo yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a yeah. funny one too. 
yeah, 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 yeah. My daughter loved that. A classic, man. A classic. I, I love Back to the Future. Uh, yes, movie. Yeah. Yes. Question number five. What was the first job you ever had? Oh, uh, Joe, I, I worked part time at uh, 7 Eleven when I was in high school. The the hourly wage was about seven dollars. I worked the cash register, made ice cream, and fried hot snacks. That sounds like a fun job, honestly. <laughs> it's a tough job for me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're like, this isn't pro wrestling. What am I doing here? But no, obviously, you know, with your first job, getting those cool little experiences is uh, pretty fun. I think serving ice cream could be pretty fun. <laughs> nice question. <laughs> yes. Question number six. Who are your top three favorite wrestlers to wrestle? Um, yes, Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly. And uh, second is Johnny Gargano. Oh. Johnny Gargano. Three, number three is uh, Pete Dunn. Yes. Yes. I would like to compete against talented female wrestlers in the near future. It's possible in TNA. Yeah, it definitely is possible. Definitely. <laughs> Question number seven. When you're not wrestling, what do you do for fun? Uh, it's about watching my daughter, who will be six years old this year. So, grow up, I go to the park, uh, read books, and uh, cook every day. I also love uh, reading a book on my Kindle. Yes, yes. Uh, love, love read the book. But daughter keeps you busy for sure. <laughs> Yes, always. Yes. Especially at Talking almost busy. six years old. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah, keep you busy. Very great. Question number eight. Um, for those who have never been to Tokyo, Japan, uh, what places are must-see? Okay, yes. Okay. All the foreign wrestlers who come to New Japan Pro Wrestling, like a steak restaurant called... Pepper lunch. It's delicious. So please try it. Pepper lunch. It sounds good. All right. Question number nine. Uh, if you weren't a wrestler, what do you think you would be doing for a living? Mm, yeah, I can't imagine. But a uh, journalist, maybe. I like newspaper. So, ah. write, so writer and maybe a uh, train or taxi driver. Ah, I like that. Very <laughs> different stuff. I can see you, Kushida, the journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Question number 10, last okay. one. If you could time travel and relive any moment in history, what would it be? Oh, I want to discover the continent with Columbus. Ooh, or, explore. Yeah, or we'll drink sake and uh, talk with Japanese samurai. Yeah. <laughs> that That's best. awesome. That is so <laughs> awesome. Um, Kushida, I seriously thank you so much for yeah. taking the time to do this interview with me. I really feel like uh, I got to know you a lot more, and I think the viewers got to know you a lot more. So uh, thank you so much. And before we go, uh, please let the people know where they can follow you on social media or mm -hmm. uh, watch Impact Wrestling, whatever it is that you want to plug before you go out. I know that here at TNA, right? I am a uh, high demand at no limit to compete against big weight wrestlers and win. So I will, I will definitely get the X Division title and world title first time as a Japanese wrestler. So tune into TNA this Saturday, right? Right, right. Time, time is running out. Oh, you guys heard it here first. Time is yeah. running out. Kushida will be challenge challenging for the X Division Championship. It's going to be awesome. Do not forget to tune in to Hard to Kill on January 13th. The links are going to be in the description box below. Until next time, we will catch you guys later. Thank you so much, everybody.